Something you may not have considered yet with your online education content is including 3D models. Now, you may think it's really complicated and that you can't sort of jump straight into that and start providing 3D models for students in your content, but there actually is a way to do it. I'm going to give you a quick look at Sketchfab. Now, Sketchfab is a product I worked with a couple of years ago now. Uh, at least over a year ago, we were looking at veterinary science. And as part of that, we were looking at animals and their muscle and bone structure. And we used some 3D objects and 3D graphics from Sketchfab as part of it. What I'm going to show you is, first of all, what Sketchfab looks like and what you can do with the models. And then I'll show you how you can put them into a couple of different platforms. So let's go and have a quick look now. Sketchfab is simply share and embed 3D models anywhere online, which is why it's quite useful and practical. Yes, it is a paid platform. So if you do want to deliver lots of content using 3D models and you're going to go this way, it's a bit like having YouTube uh, or Vimeo, having a Vimeo account where you load up your videos and you embed them. It's the same sort of thing with 3D modeling. So let's have a look at a couple of the options that we've got. Now I just did a bit of a search and I looked for a four stroke engine. I thought, let's have a look and see what we can do with, uh, if we're teaching automotive, then uh, is there some, you know, four strike engines we can look at and have a look at the insides of them and see how they actually operate. So let's maybe choose this one over here. So I'm just opening up a model to have a look at it. And what you can do is a couple of things you can do with Sketchfab that's clever. You can rotate the model. So the student will be able to spin the model around and have a look at all the different parts. Zoom in and out, which is cool. So all of those things are part of what you can do. But one of the clever things is being able to annotate content. So that means the student can click on something and it will explain what that is. So if I go over to one of these other components, uh, so that's camshaft there. Down here we have a valve, which is exactly what that is. And there's the piston there. That's the sort of thing we can do with the model. Now, one other one that I want to show you is a 3D model with woodworking. The, the big reason I wanted to show you this one is because can you imagine trying to explain to a student uh, just with drawings and diagrams and text, how this piece fits together. So this half dovetail joint, you can see there, if you rotate it around, you can start to get a much better idea on how it all fits together and how all the pieces fit in. So you can see that that bit of timber there is inserted below this one, has a slot for it to go onto. And then this piece of timber here slides into there but notice that's on a funny angle as well so if we rotate this around we can see that the cutout of this piece is that shape now how would you describe that in any other way i don't know but that's what the benefit of this is so let's see if we can grab one of these models and put that into our education content so first of all i might use the the full stroke engine model all we need to do is go to embed so choose embed here, and there's a whole heap of code just in here. We just select copy to clipboard, go to our learning platform, and this one's a Moodle 4.0 version that we're looking at. We're just going to go into a page, into edit page, and into the code using that little icon there. Paste that in, scroll down the bottom and select save. And straight away, we have a 3D viewing model that students can use to click on. Now it's not zoomed in or maximized size wise at the moment. You can change that. There's a bit of a little bit of um, changing of the code to make that go, but you can change that to go to full screen. So students can full screen the, the image and you can see it's crystal clear. Great way of looking at it. And that's how we can embed it into a page in this platform. If we went to Canvas, edited a page in Canvas, we can do a very similar thing. The difference is where you have to go to find the code editing. So with this one, it's way down the bottom. And we just click on paste with the code in. We can switch the code back now. And we can select save. So now inside our content, our education content, is an embedded 3D model, very similar to how a YouTube video would work as well. And again, you can maximize that to full screen as well. So the students can view that a lot better. You can also change the size of the outside panel so that it fills up a bigger area in the content. You can do that back here in the embedding viewer back in Sketchfab. So you can actually change these sizes here. 
So if we went from a fixed or from a size, any size, to a fixed size where we choose the sizes that we want, we can then put in the right numbers. And obviously there's you know, branding and things that will appear at the moment. If you have a paid version of Sketchfab, obviously the branding can be removed as well. That's just a way of making use of 3D inside your education content. Really, really simply, really easy. Hope that's been useful. Make sure you subscribe and check out the courses as well below.